In this video, we'll discuss how to install the Windows agent in a typical Windows computer. While there are several ways to obtain the Windows installer, the easiest way is to log in to the Cyber Protection Console and to select the device in the All Devices list and hit the Add button in the upper right hand corner. When you do this, you will be presented with a series of different agents that are possible to be downloaded from the system. For our case, we'll select the Windows Server one. When you click on it, it will start to immediately download onto your device. It will also present you on the screen with installation instructions. Before beginning your install, be sure to be logged in as the administrator with the appropriate credentials for installing software onto this device. Find the install in your folders and deploy it. Run the file as indicated on the screen. This will open up the agent installation window. You will have several choices for installing the product onto your device. The most common way is to simply click on the install button to use all of the default settings. However, if for some reason you need to have a custom installation, you will click on customize installation settings. You can also create MST and MS files for unattended installations. There are many circumstances under which you might want to customize your installation settings. The biggest one is the issue of what to install. You'll notice on this version, we're installing the agent for windows, a command line tool and the cyber protection monitor. However, we also could install agents for specific applications on our server, like exchange, SQL, and active directory. We can also use this installer to change the location of the path where we install our agent. After you hit the install button, it will download the remainder of the installation files. Please be patient, this may take some time. After the download is complete, the install will happen automatically. After the installation is complete, you'll be presented with the screen to register your machine. When you click on the register machine button, you'll be brought over into the management console and be presented with a device registration screen where you'll be presented with a registration code for your device. Click on the confirm registration button to complete the registration of the device. You will then be presented with a success window and that the registration has been completed. After clicking OK, you will now see your device listed amongst all the other devices on the console. Please note at this point, we have not applied a protection plan to this device yet, but you can go into the details section to see that the agent has been installed and which version of the agent is available. For your next step, you will need to apply a cyber protection plan to the device.